next comedian is the dubious spokesperson for the Mosquito Breeders Association. Let's put our hands together for Mr. Seth Brock. What's up, Seth? Try this one more time. Dallas, how you doing? Woo! Calm the fuck down, you sorry sex of shit. How many relationships we have in the crowd tonight? Round of applause. Woo! I'm a firm believer that men have a harder relationships than women do. Can we agree on that? Yeah. <laughs> this, this dude looks scared as shit. It's true, men have a harder relationships because everything's our fault. We get blamed for fucking everything. Things are spicy enough in the bedroom that it's our fault. Things are spicy enough in the bedroom, talk down to me, pull my hair, treat me like an animal. So I piss on the floor, rub her nose in, and be with a roll of paper. We need to spice things up in the bedroom, but it's what happens as soon as we try. You know, I'm, I'm not in the mood, I'm not in the mood. Just go jack off. Just go jack. I can't just jack off, okay? First, I spend the first 20 minutes trying to convince myself I'm still attracted to me. <laughs> then I go find a towel at 2 o'clock in the morning. If everything goes okay, if everything goes perfect, I have to wash a towel at 2 o'clock in the morning. But if everything goes bad, I have to explain why I'm giving the cat a bath at 2 o'clock in the fucking morning. You're not romantic enough. I'm, you're not romantic enough. I can never, you never leave really me any notes. Don't you ever think of me? No, I don't. I did one day, I got her a card, had a nice pretty fucked up flower on it. Wrote her a little something, put it underneath the pillow. The flowers all over the bed. Bed was dirty as shit, but the flowers all over the bed. And it worked for a minute, too. She was so happy. She's like, oh. 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 Roses are red. Oh. Violets are blue. They so are. So are my balls, because you won't go through. That's not romantic. Uh, everything's our fault. We need to spice things up more. We need to be more spontaneous. You guys ever say that shit to your, to your men? No? Oh, he's right there? You need more spontaneous. What's up with you women being spontaneous? I was spontaneous one day. I, I tried to do my part. I sent her a cell phone picture of my dick. <laughs> I sent her a cell phone picture of my dick. And as soon as I sent it, my phone said resizing photo. You know, I made me realize how small my dick actually was. <laughs> now, as men, we've all taken a picture of our dicks before. Men, what's the first thing you do when you send the picture of your dick to the person it's supposed to go to? Delete it. You delete that shit. <laughs> this happened right over here. <laughs> See, I did what I'm supposed to do. I, I took the picture, I sent it, I deleted the shit. Now, a little side story, a buddy I used to work with, he helped me sell, my, he helped him sell cars on the side. He used to buy cars and flip them on the side. He used to help me sell my car, right? So on my day off one day, he sent me a message like, hey, send me a picture of your car. Don't get ahead of me. Take a picture of your car and send it to me. I'll, I'll post it on Craigslist, like right on. So I do what I'm supposed to do. I took a picture of my car and I sent the shit to him. Explain to me why the next day, when I get to work, he walks in, he's like, hey bro, whose was that? <laughs> the, that was my car. Oh, that was your car. Did you drive it to work today? Yeah, I drive it to work every day. All right, you have a big fuzzy dice hanging from the rear view mirror? No? You have a, you have a hydraulic kit on it to make it bounce? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Bro. Whose dick is this? <laughs> That's my dick. So I go to my in-law's house that night, and uh, I walk in, and my mother-in-law looks at me and says, you know, Seth, that was a very interesting picture you sent me the other day. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> what picture? 
picture did you get? This picture of a cat and a meme is really funny. I'm like, oh, God. Also, your dick shouldn't bend that way. You should get it looked at. That's my time, everyone. I'm Seth Brock. Thank you guys so much.